amazing host and host and he's gonna have many more amazing people on his show yeah. and I just hope that you guys grow with him on his journey and you know we never know how big this is gonna get so yeah. let's just see where you take this take this juice to an oh 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 all right kale ke tuka mo le ke tuka mo le le dipino ke na le ngwa ga tsa tharo ke betsa comedy marapo video la me ke go felo ke batla go tshona le tempo ke batla go tshona khalefo ke swana ka thata ke tindo 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 ya tindo ya tindo Gap City, B Dub, Africa, the rest of the world. Good morning, and welcome to the Juice 2.0, your favorite show. Now, on the count of three, juicy. One, two, three, juicy. Today, you and I are hanging out with uh, one of the most talented TV and radio hosts in the whole world. <laughs> He's an entrepreneur, and he calls himself a media king. And guess what? You and I cannot argue with that. You know what? Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't argue with that. He's in the building. I need you to put your hands together and with a rousing applause, help me welcome this incredible, fantastic, phenomenal, electric media personality. King B's in the building, government name, Lungo Andre Beatsy. <laughs> What's going on? Good morning, TK. How you doing? You're very privileged to be in my presence. <laughs> early man very anointed <laughs> darling the lord is in your favor shindrawa shindrawa shabaraka shataya zagarega ziba dede ari ri ri ra what's up buddy good to see you good to see you and you you are right i'm very privileged to be you know with you this morning cuz man it's it's a few people that make me nervous doing this thing really so i'm like i'm a host but this dude is a host. So how is this going to be? I'm like I stood up the whole night. Yeah. Practicing this intro right there. Gabs everybody. He's a what 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 what. That's was, actually pretty dope, man. I think you're doing a fantastic job. And there's no pressure. I think the There is thing, pressure. Uh, there really is. Do you know why? Yeah. Because you know me outside of radio and outside exactly. of broadcasting. Right, right. So there really is no pressure. I think the conversation is going to be great. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Uh I, I don't know when was the last time I did any interview. Yeah. Because I'm very anal about interviews. <laughs> I don't do interviews. You're very what? Anal. I mean, it's. I mean, you speak English. I'm assuming I you know what it is, and it has nothing to do with sexuality. <laughs> but DJ. then again, but then again, you're talking to me. It's English. You're talking to me. I've been accused of being the most sexual presenter there is in B Dub. No, you and I both, as well as Mdu. Oh, Apparently, as well as we just sexualize it, even this button. <laughs> Oh my god look, look at it it's look an at, orgasm I mean, look at that I mean at that time jeez it's it's done it's a button <laughs> <laughs> So I'm excited to be here I'm looking forward to to be a part of the you know the family that bleeds purple and, Oh yeah, uh, yeah I'm 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 anxious to find out what's going on It's here. great to have you man honored to have you in the studio and you, we we invited you here yeah. because you are Lungo you are King B and you are this great TV and radio host but we just Thank needed you. to get acquainted to you and find out is there anything more on mm. the other side? Is there anything else that's interesting about Lungo? And I'm pretty sure there is. So that's the purpose that you're here today. Also, ooh, yes. this, to celebrate you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Because interviews, especially this on the Juice 2.0, we get to put out BW people that are as amazing as you are. And we get to get the next person who's watching and listening. Nice. Celebrate what this blue, black, and white has produced. And you're one of those people that we need to celebrate. Thank you. Truly humbled. So I mean, is Andre is Andre really part of your government name? Yes, it is. Nah, my little name. Nah. My dad's name is actually Kupa Omang. Kupa Omang. I kiss my car, man. I said today, okay. I get it. You know, I keep my the license in my car. Right. So right. why would I be kidding it? Right. TK. Right. right hey, Focus. Hey. My bad. My bad. No, but um, my dad's full name is uh, Andrew Moremi Pizzi. Oh yeah. So um, I dropped the. I remember when because I didn't have a a second name. I was just named Lungo Pizzi. Oh yeah. When I was born. Um, and then I remember I asked for a second name. Right. When I was still in primary. Right. Um, and then I was like, I don't like the word, the name Andrew. And oh, then yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. I'm gonna drop the W, and then it becomes the E at the end. Wow. How and old were you? I think almost twelve or seven. So you've always had swag, cause Andre. Yeah. Andre. And it's a very white boer name. It really and is. I'm, I'm a, I'm a boer. It's a beautiful name. I'm kind of jealous because, well, my second name is not part of my birth certificate. What's your second name? Lenin. Ah, nice. But I actually really like your government name. Yeah. And I didn't even know his name was Takuzwa. Takuzwa. It's a it's a sharp T. Yeah. Oh, it's a Takuzwa. Takuzwa. I didn't yeah. even know that. 
You like it? Yeah, I really do. Lunga loves my name. So, guys, the show is over. <laughs> we, uh, uh, I got go. <laughs> I really do. And I didn't know up until we started communicating. Yeah. And I saw in your email. I'm yeah. like, ah, this Takuzwa. guy. Takuzwa. Yeah, so TK is short for Takuzwa. Yeah. It's a beautiful just name. Did. Andre is a beautiful name. You got it from your dad. We'll talk about your dad, your mom. So much you talk about this yeah. morning, right? But uh, did you make your bed this morning, bro? I did. The first thing I do before I even use the bathroom is I always make my bed. Why is it important to do that? I was taught. It's oh, yeah? something that I've, uh, I've, I've accustomed to, um, you know, when you're with a strong woman who's raised you and your father's away, he's working. Yeah. Most of the time you get to see him four or five times out of the year. Right. Uh, my mother has instilled so much uh, knowledge. Whether you're a man or a woman, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's very important. Right. So the first thing that you do is make, make your bed. bed. Yeah. I and, and confirm this for me. It, it sort of starts your day on the right it's footing, does. right? It does. Because then you go back home, maybe you had a bad day, but when you get to your bedroom and your bed is made, mm. it kind of gives you hope for the next day, actually. It really does. It's also, it, it's a refreshing feeling to walk into your bedroom yeah. and it's fresh and it's clean. Yeah. I mean, yes, I've got the most incredible help at home. Yeah. Um, she does everything else. But, you know, stuff like a bedroom, yeah. especially that you wake up from, a bed, I think it's very important to, to you know, to make sure that it's done. In case <laughs> it was... Zagaranga hey. The night before And then You know stains <laughs> tend to go somewhere In places not supposed to Especially the white liquid Dangerous So you gotta make sure You flip those sheets And change them <laughs> But you're still not The sexual guy That they say you are You're still not I'm talking about milk Milk yeah, yeah White, white, white milk liquid in, I mean what were you bed. thinking about yeah. You know what I mean yeah, yeah. You know what I mean <laughs> Did you shower or did you take a bath? What do you I prefer shower. anyway? I shower. Ah, dude, yeah. Bluetooth that high five, bro. I shower. Like, that's yeah. it. I shower. You feel cleaner, man. I'm telling you. Like, but then stress. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You wow, clap, 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 clap. Right, right, right. And then, what is Sonia Roman? Exactly. And then you're going to take the same water, Zanga, over <sighs> your head. Again. Man, I know. No, no shower. <laughs> I mean, no bath. I love showers. Showers yeah. for me too. I, I, I like that. Confirm this for me and correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. You went to Rainbow I High did. School. Yes. Ooh, dude, tell me about Rainbow Experience. I How went to it? Rainbow. Rainbow has produced some of the biggest stars in the country, from Posebina. Totally. The Boko Cranwell. Totally. There's just so many people that went to Rainbow. Rainbow yeah. was a school of you know, um, arts and intelligent people, and yeah. it gave us freedom and platforms to do what we love and express ourselves yeah. through acting, music, you know, traveling. I mean, we've been to Cape Town. We've been through <sighs> some of the biggest countries and most loved countries across the world. Yep, yep. Uh, and we were quite young, and they gave us that experience. So I'm quite thankful and grateful for the opportunities because I know my parents, especially my mother, oh, yeah. has sacrificed so much for me too. So to, was it was it your choice? Get, was it your choice to go no, there? No, no, it was my it was my parents. Oh. Yeah. It was I think it, it was Dude. my mom. My mom has always handled everything at home. That's Finances, beautiful, man. making sure she does the right decisions for us. Yeah. You know, for what we wear. Yeah, yeah. Um, where we go, who we go out with. She was always a present mom. She's always been a present mom. That's why she, my mother is my anchor, my everything, my backbone. Ah, uh, we go. We're so gonna talk love. about the queen yeah. for real, for yeah. real. So does the personality that is radio and TV hosting get recognized? at Rainbow because of the environment or it was there before it even go to Rainbow? Thank God for TV. Before it got uh, to, to, to Rainbow, I loved... Um, hey, bra! I think you know there was Bob TV back in our dude, um, and your SAPCs when they were starting to catch fire after right, right. you know they gained independence after 1992 and 94 and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and you know I remember watching Gem Ellie. And I was so hypnotized by, um, God bless her soul, she passed on, V-Mesh. Ah, yeah, and you know, she was doing talent. talent. Oh my God. Talent. And I was, I was like, why is a woman so powerful? Yeah. So entertaining, so intelligent. And she was such a megastar. Right. And uh, I, I owe my career to, to, to V-Mesh because everything that I do now, somehow, some way, yeah. I'm, I'm liberated the and influences, inspired yeah. by that. The influence is there. Yeah, as yeah. well as a lot of young people at um, Yo TV, right. You know, Busim Piwe and yeah, all these yeah. people, uh, you know, Busha Day and them. And um, in America, I think I'm inspired mostly by Ryan Seacrest. I've always loved what he does. You love Ryan? I, w- I was a big how, fan. How do I feel about Ryan? I think, I, think I, haven't, I haven't really given him a chance, yeah? Maybe I should after this uh, conversation. Think about it as this. Not only is he a pretty face, but yeah. he's a businessman. 
And you know, he ah. owns rights and he's an executive producer to ah. idols. How it started, you know what I mean? Building and, you know, keeping up with the Kardashians. He's an executive producer. He works for E and all of those. Shmoney! So he, Shmoney. He's brilliant. I think he's he's a Ryan. fantastic, fantastic. Ryan Seacrest. I'll check that out. Yeah. I'll check and in, that out. In, in Africa, I don't think there's anyone better than Bonang. I think Bonang is a super mega star when it comes to presenting. And, yeah. you know, she she's positioned her brand in a very yeah. powerful stance. And I think she's she's a star. And I got so, the opportunity so, to work with her. So we'll, I learned we'll, a lot. We'll talk about yeah. that. We'll talk about that. And and Rainbow then finishes, right? When does the blow up come up? Right? Hmm. Do you remember when we first met? Mm, yes. You do? I, I, I do. Where was it? Just Co- the location. Go block six. <laughs> you actually do. Yeah. Dude. I was moving Morojo. Huh? Yes. Door to door. Yeah. And I came to this house that you were at. at my best friend's place. Yes. Yeah. And I saw you guys. Did you actually buy it? We did. Remember. You must have. We did. Because I remember you guys being so cool. Yeah. To this did. to this kid selling mm-hmm. Morocco door to door. And, uh, and, and plus you were fine. So we couldn't say no, girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, you, I mean, he always been fine, y'all. I was about to ask him. <laughs> yeah. Guys. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Andre, can you behave? Okay, Takuza. So you bought my Morojo because I was fine, fine. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I had no choice. <laughs> because he came in with those dreamy eyes. Dumelang, <laughs> get it some more Morojo. And I said, he didn't know Sotswana proper. The Sotswana proper, yeah. yes. And Jeez, I opened man. the door and all of a sudden there were stars. And then I saw Ta-da. a rainbow. And then there were ponies <laughs> and butterflies. And we were the only two people. And then my friend comes and says, get man. He's like, ah, Dumelang. And it was over. It was done, and my dream was yeah. It was in shambles. First of all, thank you very much for <laughs> for buying my morocco, man. <laughs> Crazy, my cheeks are gonna hurt after this. Go my, easy on me, man. My cheeks, okay, sure. <sighs> Go on. Clearly, I'm I'm my 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 levels are like down there, right? My levels. Hey, how about you and I co-host the Juice 2.0? Do you do you have? Are we gonna get a sponsor? Definitely. Okay. I mean, with you on the side, I'm definitely getting a spot. We can sit and talk because I love making money. I love money. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll, I think we can do something right. We'll talk about that. You, but my, you people are my witnesses, witnesses all over the. Like when I get. Yeah. Sure, but sure. I say that story to say this, and I remember that very vividly, right? I say this story to say that at that point, I don't think I had known who you were. Yeah. Were you known in B Dub? At that point, and what were you already known for if you were known at that point? Um, not really. Yeah. Because I think I got my first taste of um television, big production, big budgets. Yeah. In 2010. Um. And in 2010, I got an uh you, you know, the privilege and the honor of working besides Joe Scott. Yes. Idris Alba. Right, right. Anika Nani Rose, right. Desmond Dube from South Africa, yeah. um, and all these big stars that were coming on board because we were a part of the number one ladies detective agency, Maramotwe. Mm. Yeah, so I came on board as a cameo, right? Because we were chosen <laughs> with a group of people, right? Uh, and we were the kids that were just playing around. Uh-huh. And then the following year, because the first they put out a remember they put out a movie first. Yes. Yeah. The following year, then they started to do the series. Ah. Yeah, which was season one. I remember that. I remember yeah. that. So I came in on board now um, as part of the first season. And um, I actually got my first big major breakthrough. It was Jill Scott. I still actually get royalties from that movie. Dude. I'm telling you. And in pounds, not in pula. In 2022, right 2022. now. I think last time I got some was in 2021, beginning of 2021. Wow. Yeah. And uh, my, my scene was with Jill Scott. I remember we sat down, the incredible, incomparable Jill Scott. Jill Scott, yeah. And we sat down and we spoke. And I asked her because she had just gotten off of being, obviously she was a mega Grammy winning star. Yes. But she was now popping off after doing How Did I Get, Why Did I Get Married? Love uh, that movie. Yeah, with, with the rest of the so crew. It was great. And stuff. Yeah. So we're sitting there before we started shooting because she's trying to get to know me and I'm nervous. And, you know, and I asked her, how was it working on this incredible movie? As, you know, we had the best conversation and Anika joins us. She was in ah, Dream Girls. Kill me. With Beyonce and them. So it was just like a 360 circle and a great moment. And right. I was in awe, bruh. Like, you have no idea. That conversation in two, three minutes yeah. changed my whole perspective. About my life, what yeah. I wanted to do, so, where I want to go. So, so then let's write off of that, right? Yeah. There was a question as to whether you would rather have a conversation, ten minute or five minute conversation with Jay Z, mm-hmm. or be given five hundred thousand bucks. Yeah, what would you pick? 
just writing off of how just would, a three minute conversation changed your whole life. I would have a conversation with Jay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> smart businessman. Yeah. Love what he's done with his brand, especially finances yeah. and investments. Yeah. Um, the fact that his wife also owns Uber is right. quite shocking. A lot of people don't know. Yeah. Is that true? Beyonce actually is a sole proprietor for Uber. She's got the most shares. And she's what? shared the dividends with a lot of people. I'm serious. Did you know that? No. I'm serious. You? No? Yeah. yeah. I'm serious. Um, I think he's taught her so much. Yeah. I mean, obviously she was taught by her father as well. Of course, of course. Um, but I think, you know, being a part of a big champagne brand and only only 50% and the rest goes to other people. I mean, what uh, Apple has done by sharing its um, shares. Yeah. And then, you know, it's what's crazy. And I was reading this two days ago. Yeah. Um, one of the investors were Apple actually gets three dollars and fifty something cents for every purchased iphone in the world oh man Do you understand? Jesus and he only invested Christ. a couple of millions so so the ripple effect is the, crazy it's insane and the the conundrum out of all of this is you have to be very smart you gotta you be have smart. to yeah. invest yeah. and you have to ask questions right find out things when people don't be shy knock on doors right right because money does run out so if i'm going to invest I would definitely, definitely have a conversation with somebody with who's, you know, been in the game and somebody who is a multi-billionaire. Yeah, it's Jay. And you, you want to you want to have a, a few conversations here and there. Yeah. Obviously, people will never tell you their secrets. Of course. Because of if course. you come up with a brilliant idea, they would want to be a part of it, which is, I think it's okay. Mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. this is where then shares come in. And this is where you then start to expand. Trade secrets. Yeah. You know, you knock on... Different doors. So I would definitely have a conversation with Jay-Z over half a million. I love that. Yeah. I love that. And so with Jill Scott, does that then fuel your does. passion for everything else? It does. You have my African dream. Does That's that come right after that? Yeah. Right literally, after that? Literally four months Jeez, later. Jeez, man. Yeah. Talk about changed life, huh? Four months later. Who approaches you for my African dream? Do you knock saw, on a door? I saw an advert on BTV. Yeah. Um, I remember I was still very young. Yes. But I saw the advert and... I told my mother, I'm actually going to audition and I'm going to get the job. We were sitting down, literally <laughs> in the lounge, and I said, I like that. Way, you know I've always wanted to do presenting. Yeah, yeah. And my mother is an academic. Ah, my whole family is an ac are all academic. So it's like veering off of that, right? And she was like, if you're going to do this, your grades are not going to drop. I want you to stay focused. It's very yeah. important for you to graduate. Right. Malaping so that you become one or three or four people that have done this because mm. we as your parents never really got an opportunity my dad is the one that managed to go far but my mom had kids and she was a young mother and stuff like that so she took care of us right right so that's how it all began and I, I auditioned I think there were about a thousand people that came a kids. thousand people yeah. Prince was there the people that I got a job with Le Bubu Nolo and a lot of Marang Mulusiwa was there and stuff like that remember she had come from Mankwane she had come from Mankwane and now she's growing into a young lady Jeez. and now she wants to transition from a kids show to yeah. you know a so you would you would middle. think you yeah. would think with that background and experience would, yeah. right yeah. and she's brilliant she's such a sweetheart and she's a very good friend of mine and that's how I got the job I, I got the job actually on the spot hey <laughs> I'm serious talk about talent bro I did they asked Just me to stay Speaking of auditions, yeah. man, I'm mad at you. What happened? The year was what, 2015 ish, maybe 2014. What happened? Do you what happened? <laughs> <laughs> so you're at Yarana FM. Okay. At least not working, maybe. I'm, I'm not too sure about the years, but you're part of the you're part of the panel. Yeah. That's judging people for the orange carpet, the something, red carpet. something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for the Yamas. It was the orange. Yes. Uh, for the Yarana FM Music Awards. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So I audition, and you're part of the panel. And hey, the questions you asked me, dude. Yeah. I don't remember the actual questions, but I just remember them being the hardest questions. <laughs> and I fumbled. I was like, this mother blipper, who is he? <laughs> Do you know why I'm like that? Yeah. I, I value hard work. Oh, yeah. Of yeah. Course, of I don't course. believe in overnight success because I'm grateful I'm in an era where we know yeah. hard work. Right. This was right. before your TikToks, before it was course, all of these things that yeah. make people famous overnight. Microwave it. And for me, it, it had nothing to do with fame. I wanted to be so good, Takuza, yeah. with what I do. I wanted to be so good. Yeah. I wanted to perfect my craft that there would be no question when right. my name is brought up. Of course. But this guy is so brilliant at TV presenting, at radio presenting. And I, I'm so grateful because God allowed me to be in that space and to surround myself with people that would teach me. So for me, when somebody walks in and steps into this sort of space, yeah. 
I want you to really want it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you're yeah, not just yeah. going to come in because you're a pretty boy. Yeah. And you've got a great voice. And you can speak. You right, have right. to have a personality that supports you. You need to have experience, background, yeah, yeah. whether it's, uh, you know, besides working, but things that you can tell that sound great on radio ah. or when you have conversations on the red carpet, yeah. you're not going to ask generic questions. What are you wearing? I need you to dig yeah. deep. You understand yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. I like that. So for any young person who says to me, Lungo, please mentor me. I ask them, how badly do you want it? Yeah, you're not just going to come and waste my time and yeah. your time because you want to pop on Facebook for 2,000 likes. <laughs> you know what I mean? So what we're going to do at the end of the show is to ask you how you rate my presenting skills. Not presenting, my hosting skills. Okay. Because you're the guru in this thing. So at the end of it all, you rate us out of a 10. Can we do hey, that? Okay, don't let me. I'm just like, <laughs> who are you calling a guru? And I'm a guru in this mother bleeper. <laughs> 8.30 is your time with the Juice 2.0. <laughs> Lungo Andre Pizza is in the building. And we're just getting acquainted. Sure to talk to us on 14962. That's the SMS line. 395 Don't hesitate to call. And plus 267-395-6962 is for your WhatsApps. How about some Buster Rhymes? P. Diddy. Pharrell Williams. If you guess the song to be past the Cavassier Part 2, then my good friend, you know your music. As from Party Engage Road. 8.34 your time on the Juice 2.0. Andre Pizze is in the building. Do I pronounce your last name correctly? Pizze. Pizze. Yeah. It's All horse. Right. Oh, nice. Yeah. Lumo under horse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure to talk to us, call us and app us. So we got IG questions. Good looking out for everybody that asks Lumo questions on our IG platform. That is a TK Lenin. And I'm so sorry I didn't post hey on yep. my Instagram. I'm the worst when it comes to social media. Yeah, I know. That I was gonna be here. I apologize. I noticed. I was like, you know what? Maybe I'm not too I'm not big oh enough for Lumo, God. man. It has it, nothing to it, do it, with it, that. It, 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 <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I'm not telling you my business no more. Jesus. They don't even know what I'm talking about, bro. Yes, they do. So this is the thing. Guys. What could, what kind of cry was it? It wasn't even a cry. I was venting. No, but what kind of cry was it? Was it like... I was venting. I can't believe I was... this guy was trying to take my girl. <laughs> or was it... <laughs> Go to commercial. Or was it just a... I hate you so much. I really do hate you so much. <laughs> IG questions, okay? Right, cool. At Jethan Titus, thank you very much for asking. Ask you, what do you think could be improved in the B dub in the B dub music industry? Be brutal. Everything. Everything. Yeah. All right. Everything could be improved. Um, yeah. It breaks my heart because I think the cake is big enough for everyone. You right. understand what I mean? Right. The industry is big enough for everyone. Um, there's room for new talent. Yeah. That's very important. That yeah. keeps the industry growing and booming. Right. Um, consistency is also key. And I think it's also very unfortunate that we only have about a handful of artists that are very consistent, that are privileged and yeah, very yeah. lucky to do, be doing what they're doing. Right. And others aren't seeing the day of light. So I think a lot could be improved. A lot of, um, also a lot of allowing people to come in, brah. You understand what I mean? Yeah. And not just cut them outside without giving them a bit a of chance. Yeah. yeah, yeah you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So, but hopefully one day we'll get there. But I'm just a little bit worried because I think, well, how many years into independence? <laughs> You know what I mean? And still nothing has changed so yeah. far. So slow sad. movement, slow yeah. movement. All right. At Asante Sana Mokwe asks you, what is the worst moment in your career? My worst moment in my career yeah. was one was when one of the biggest promoters in the country mm -hmm. took advantage of myself and Sadi. And I will tell you what happened. What happened? We went on a tour, yeah, and I'm going to say it. Mm -hmm. Back to school. Don't oh. Yeah. Jeez, man. You're gonna, we went on a you know you're going to get us in trouble, right? No, it has nothing to do with, with you guys. Right, It's right. a true story. Right, right. Yeah, and it happened. Right. We went on a tour uh -huh. um, for 10 days with one big artist. Yeah. He's a very good friend of mine, Latimi. Uh -huh. And there were other supporting acts as well. Right. And I remember I said, if I ever write a book, I'm, you know, let me tell you something. If I write a book, it's gonna be a book. Botswana will it's, swam, it's like Botswana will end. Are you serious? I'm serious of this industry and what I've been through and what a lot of people people have been through. Jeez, man. We were on a ten day tour mm -hmm. promoting, and I remember the end of the tenth day, the following day we're coming back to Aburoni. Yeah. Guess how much we got paid? How much? One point five. Come on. One point five. One point. Five. That's not cool. 1.5? What are Divided you Divided by two. <laughs> 750. 750, ma! <laughs> hey, hey. It actually still 
still hurts because you know you see this person you talk to them they still talk to you and stuff like that but never no remorse never no apology none whatsoever that's very sad man that's yeah, very what sad I mean. yeah yeah we got paid 1.5 and they asked, he specifically asked me and decided divide to it. divide it between us and this was his excuse you guys are promoting yourself mind you it's two years since we've joined Flavor Dome, and we are. A you're already, deal. you're already exposed, man. You're yeah. already exposed. Yeah, but such life lessons. Thank you for that question. <laughs> I'm actually gonna go a bit into that no a, little, a little later. Yeah. But at Raymond underscore Bill ask you, when are you going back to radio? Which is a question that I want to ask you too. I so, don't know. Yeah. Do you want to go back to radio? I don't know. Okay. Yeah. That's a, that's a, that's the honesty that I appreciate. I really sometimes don't know. sometimes we get clouded in the fact that yeah. there's an expectation that you should go back to radio. Yeah. But if you don't know as a person then you're okay with that to not know, right? I really don't know. I yeah. love radio. I miss radio. Uh-huh. Um I miss TV, but it's fine. We're working on certain things. <laughs> uh, I'm glad I've grown up and you know when when you get to that point of your life, you want to then also be more behind the scenes because that's where the real money is at. True story. And True story. your rights. Yeah. So I'm excited about the next chapter of my life because I take my time because uh-huh. I don't compete with no one. I think it's very important for you to have a reflection of who you are with right. yourself. Right. And that's why I'm saying the cake is big enough for everyone. Mm. And give credit where it's due. Right. Yeah, that's what right. I mean. We right. can learn right. from each other. But I don't know. I mean, if an opportunity, I mean, opportunities have presented themselves. But yeah. if one that, if one comes and it makes sense, I might consider it. Yeah. Uh, please don't, yeah. please, please don't consider what I said early on about co-hosting. Okay, that was a joke. Because are you nervous? Uh, Insecure much? You and I can't co-host oh. anything because then everybody wants to listen to you. It's just like nah, that's what I'm saying. Nah. Uh, it's okay. Can't do it. You are a beautiful chocolate mental kuzo. You can't be this insecure. You need to find yourself hey, my, and mm, stand mm, in mm, your backbone. Mm, 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 mm. Hold on to your manhood. <laughs> Hold on to your manhood. <laughs> I'm like. Oh! <laughs> No, but I, I don't know. But yeah, I, I love radio. I think radio is a it's a free medium that will always be free. Yeah. It's very accessible. Yeah. It's very easy. Awesome. So um, we'll see. We'll see. Follow up question would be then you worked with Yara and FM for how long? This year would have been my 10th. So what happened? Why'd you leave? Certain, certain circumstances. You got fired. Control. I got you fired got... twice before, but you know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Heck. Yeah, I get it, me. Get it, no problem. <laughs> Two months later, they come you. You got fired yeah. twice in the cold no, bag. I, did. I, I got fired twice, bro. What did you do? You feel like the things that you got fired for twice, uh, they were justified in firing? No, they, they were not. not. And okay. and I think that's why I came back. But right, um, right. it was when there was old management. Ah. Um, one, I was told I'm too too feminine. And I can't oh. be on radio. A guy needs to speak a certain way. Um, and then the other one. I got fired. Why did I get fired? <laughs> That's what I don't. Why did okay. I get fired? Jeez. Oh no, they didn't renew our contract. Okay, and then it 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 waited. I think a couple of months, and then ah oh. uh, yeah, I I came back. Actually, I really didn't get fired. The contracts were not renewed. Were not renewed. Renew, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your yarn yeah. some story is very interesting. We'll continue with more of that after this. I have a message over here from Obi Twice, who's part of the Juicy family. Simply says, Juicy baby, juicy morning, guys. King B in the studio. Right? You got love. I love Obi Twice. Very genuine. Always yeah. been a loyal listener to everyone. Dude. In Botswana, not just every cool, every, every cool people. Radio station. Yeah. Right? yeah. Nice one. Thank you, Papa. Thank you for tuning in. Lovely. So then, the one thing I needed to also ask you, Lungo. Yes. Is um, how time and time again you've credited your mom, right? Yeah. As one of the pillars in your world, yeah. right? And uh, you also speak about a story of how you and your dad are sort of mending your relationship now. Well, we're trying. A few, a few years yeah. into it. We're trying. What? I'm what? trying. You're trying. Yeah, I'm trying. Is it working? Let's get it right. Is it working? Is it working? I don't know. Why is it important that you try, though? For the sake of peace. Okay. Yeah. Right. For the sake of peace, for my peace of mind. Yeah. Um, for me to try and move on. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm doing it for myself, not for him. I'm yeah. very, I'm very clear when it comes to that. That's a mature yeah. level of yeah, thinking, I'm right there. I'm very clear. I'm doing it for myself. Yeah. My dad is older. Yeah. Um, he's almost seventy. Ooh. Um, he's very fragile. Yeah. Um, and the older our parents get, the more babies they become. They feel, yeah, yeah. You understand yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, but there's so many things that I, I, I still can't get over a lot of things. I know. Um, that, you know, has occurred in my life. In your life, yeah. Um, because of him. Yeah. Um, but, 
I'm a praying guy. I grew up in a Christian home. I was Shin taught, Baba, hallelujah. I was taught love yeah. and forgiveness by my mother. Conquers all, yeah. You understand yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So I, I'm trying. I'm trying to to a lot of families in Botswana have broken homes because yeah. of 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 um a certain level of um absenteeism from from the fathers, from fathers yeah. especially yeah. Eh, but sadika bu ntimo botswana ke batsadi ba lonkhoda single parents yeah. especially from female point of view right right you understand what i mean so it's a lot of struggle a lot of hard work a yeah. lot of sacrifice i hope it um, i hope it works yeah. your your efforts shouldn't go down the drain i hope it comes up about uh, one of these good days but but i hope so but i'm at a point where i'm like if whatever if it doesn't it, it doesn't, is what it is yeah. You, yeah. you, you, you but try. I'm still grateful he's still alive. Yeah, that's very important because I know the love my mother has for my dad. Yeah, because yeah. that that relationship is always. Oh, I mean, it's 40 plus years of marriage. And <laughs> yeah, he can move. There is great kids, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. What, <laughs> Listen we'll, to you. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But for now, yeah, um, I'm trying for the sake of my peace. Of what, my, do you, what do you? What do you? What do you feel you took from your dad and your mom, both individually though? Yeah, that has helped you as. Uh, the personality that you are now, both TV and radio. My dad is an academic. Firstly, firstly, I took yeah. that from him. Nice, a very hard worker. Nice, yeah. And uh, my dad puts work first before anything. Like he's always been. Yeah. Like he will carry and break his back for his job. Nice. Yeah, that's what I mean. Nice. And that's the sort of person that I am. Yeah. I will yeah. go hours without sleep to make sure a link is perfect. Mm. To make sure a video is perfect. Mm. To make sure my clothes are right for an event. Dope. It's a simple And your clothes are right yeah. for this show this morning. Thank you. Yo. <laughs> Yo. I was like, man. Thank you, it's, brother. It's yeah. drip, drip, drip on drip on drip. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I learned from my dad. And my mom, I've learned compassion. I've nice. learned to love. Yeah. I've learned to forgive. I've learned laughter. I've learned sacrifice. Sacrifice. That's what she's done. So I love my mother with every fiber of my being. I can't. I. I cannot dream a day where my mother would not be around because yeah. I don't think. I think it would be a very, very cold day. Yeah. In my world, like I would never recover. Like my mother is everything to me. I love that. Yeah. And God bless you, mom, man. You, you speak about her so passionately, and I can feel the the love when you speak. All the times that I've checked you out. Aww, thanks, man. Um, and then and then the B dub industry, that is entertainment industry. Yes. We clearly have a perception or perspective of you and who you are. Yeah. Clearly, because of the experience and the longevity that you have already started to enjoy. Do you feel that you are appreciated? Like when you're walking in the streets and the malls, right? Not just a high end, but is there an actual deep inside feeling that people see me, people appreciate the hard work that I've put in, and people celebrate that? Huh. Do you know what it is with me, T? Um, I've never looked at it from that point of view. Okay. Like I said at the beginning, I wanted to be so good, so, so good at what I do right. to perfect my craft that... You will turn your head when I walk in. That's what happens. I like that. That's you will turn your head. Yeah. And you will gossip and I'll hear murmurs yeah. when I'm sitting at a table. Yeah. That means I've done something right. Oh, clearly, Wait, clearly. One thing I know for a fact, I genuinely know Botswana genuinely love me and they support me. Mm. I see it every day. Yeah. I think it's something that I don't take for granted because I know it can end at any time. Right, right. Yeah. Botswana, mm -hmm. if they pick you, they pick you and they stay in your corner. True story. You understand what True I mean? True story, yeah. 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 And that's that's what I've gotten. And I understand from, not not really in gabs because I don't really care about Gaborone because everybody's just plastic. Most, <laughs> yeah, most people are very fake in Gaborone. Yeah, city, yeah. Ah, the it's, fake. It's you cool. ah. <laughs> <laughs> and you walk away with oh. <laughs> Anyway, um... Yeah, not Gabs. When you leave Gaboroni, you yeah. really get to understand and you get to appreciate and love yeah. Botswana for who they really are. Yeah. From as soon as you leave Gaboroni, then you get to... You really get to understand from your Muchudi upwards. That's where I'm from, by the way. Right, I know, I know, yeah. I know. Yeah. So That's why you have a big mouth, apparently. Yeah. Is that what it means? It's, You've said that in your videos before. Yeah, it's, it's good for other things except talking. Um <laughs> There's a video. There's a video that. There's a video that. <laughs> you were talking about you and Bakes and how whenever you would see each other in the streets, yeah, uh, Bakes would almost say things like "Uli," yes, right? Uli, Uli, Uli. <laughs> Good, it's, it's a thing that we do. And I thought that was like the funniest thing I had ever seen, man. It's, it's a thing that we do, man. We have a great relationship. So yeah, when you leave Gabs, yeah. you go out, you really get to appreciate, and yeah. you get to see how people genuinely love right. what we do. Right. I'm right. telling you, like, it, I think I've got the biggest support system from 
from your Mahala Bay, Francis Town, going up Maung. Yeah. Maung is crazy. I love Maung so much because the people are so genuine yeah. and they support. Um, but anything outside of Gabs is not as much. Like I give my flowers to them. I'm so grateful. Um, I think the love is so big when you're outside of Khaburun. Yes. Hi, Kego. <laughs> Can you oh, behave? Man. Can you behave? Why right. can't you have Can you behave? I thought I thought it was all no, about me. No. Huh? Told no. dark chocolate. No. You, it's the physical. Uh huh. Him. Can you I, go? I want him to just talk to me all day. I just want to hear his voice. Yeah. I gotta work on my voice. Yeah. <laughs> Free association. Yeah. Go, Do you believe in aliens? Do I believe in aliens? I believe there are human beings behind aliens. <laughs> 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 They're the ones that are running the world, bruh. A human being is messed up in the brain. It's crazy. I'm telling you. The craziest rumor I've ever I've ever heard about me is the craziest rumor. Yeah. Um, that I I am I am a what do you call this? What what's the right way of putting it? Because it's radio. Yeah. Um. That I I sleep around and I I I'm I am. There's a lot of married men that want me, and and I I accept it. And like sl- it go to my lifestyle. I just don't even know how hard I work to acquire what I get, bro. But yeah, I've I've been told what well, I am such a man, you know, man, do- yeah, yeah, like yeah. A, a man of the night, man basically. Of- Jeez, man, I, I, I'm sort of like a prostitute, and I sleep with like really men in the high positions, apparently. And I don't it's know crazy. how people sit and are okay and, with this conversation. Orchestrate the conversation oh. in the first place. All right. Are we the last time I was at church was a couple of years ago. I think 2014. Oh yeah. Yeah. 2014, 2013. Are we going back to church anytime soon? What's What's the spirituality there? Uh, for me, it's not even about the house of the Lord. Yeah. It's a conversation I have with God. Ah, yeah. you nailed it. Relationship, yeah. right? Yeah. The last time, okay, we asked it. The best event show I've ever hosted was. Hmm. That's a good one. Right. Right. Okay. In Botswana or in South Africa? Just anywhere. Anywhere. Ah, man. Oof. In Botswana, it has to be GIMC. GIMC? Yeah. Nice. I think uh, 2019. 20, 2018. 2018. 2018. 2018. 2019. Right. And of course, the Amas, when I had an opportunity to work with Bonang. Right, right. Even though there was a scandal with Bonang right. Mateba. Right. Um, and then outside, it has to be MTN Bushfire this year. Ah. Yeah, that was fantastic. That was dope. I um, saw the pictures. I saw you. the pictures. Yeah. And yeah. And, and um, Mahika Mahikeng. When I worked with Somizi, that was nice. That's a couple. Yeah. I like that. I usually do my number two at what time? Any moment I get, because I I eat and I nibble, so I'm always in the loo. You don't keep. Do you know why? Yeah. I'm trying to lose weight, so I have a lot of ah. liquid, a lot of smoothies, a lot of stuff, and it's green. So it comes out. So baby, any two seconds from <laughs> now, I need the loo. It's a rough. <laughs> Best vacation destination I've ever been to was. I really love Cape Town, bro. Cape, it's something yeah. Quite, it's serene and godly about it. Oh, right. So I think Cape Town is beautiful. I mean, I've been overseas and stuff, but Cape Town for me is quite magnificent. The best employer I've ever worked with was? The team out at the number one ladies detective agency. Beautiful. Yeah. Maramoto. Yeah. Right. I feel most at peace when? When I'm at home. When you're home. Yeah. And all alone, right? When I'm at home. Oh, man. Literally. Yeah. Beautiful. If I could trademark a phrase, it would be. <laughs> oh, but dude, I have a lot, bro. Yeah? I imagine you have a lot. Um Well, there's one on my arm. That's my 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 author, something that I live by. Yeah. Return the hate with love. Kill them with ah, kindness. Yes, and yes, bury them yes, with success. Yes. Yeah. I like that. That's that. But if if we're talking a phrase, yeah. phrase phrase, uh-huh. it would be I get a watch a Loranya Moss. Watch a Loranya. Yes. I remember that. All right, a little bit. Oh, man. Time is so jealous, though. No, that's cool. Never have I ever had sex in public. I have. In a public place. I have. Where was this? In my car. Jeez. With my sweet hat. Public indecency? Were you there? Were you there? I wasn't hey, there. So I was moving right, right, moving yeah. right along. There. I get it's public. It was outside in my parking lot. I guess. Hey, I in guess. my yard. It's no. public. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever paid for a date. I have. You have? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I, I'm quite lucky because the people that I've had an opportunity to go out on a date, we usually split a bill. Like, uh, I, I believe in that. I think it shows 
what yes, I mean? Yes, yes. Yeah, we usually split bills, whether it's my friends or whether it's with, I'm with my, my partner, my boyfriend. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Never have I ever flirted with someone in front of my partner. Oh, yes, you have. Well, if they know you. Yeah. Yeah. But other than then, that, then it's yeah, cool, yeah. if it's TK and my partner is here, ah, I mean, like, I couldn't know what is the one. <laughs> after you, if you're not focused, it's the one. Next in line. <laughs> All right. So never have I ever drunk texted. An ex. Never. Never, huh? When it's oh, done, you keep it, it together. Done. Imagine it's like it's like Did you throwing see up face? and eating your own vomit again. Did you see your face when you say that? When we it is break up for a reason, Takuza. It is done. Let it be done. I don't want toxicity. Nonsense. I partly the ex. I I Lung, are you okay? No, I'm <laughs> trying to heal. <laughs> I'm trying to heal. Because of Anyway. Listen, you have this amazing foundation that's already started kicking. It, well, I launched it. You launched as, it as a part of an awareness for people to understand what I'm working on. Yes. I'm very excited. I saved. I saved. I saved the best oh. for last. We only have three minutes. No problem. To tell the listener this incredible foundation, what it's all about, and the reason why oh, it came up. Anyway, I think I've worked my whole life for this moment. Yeah. Um, I launched it last year right. as an awareness. Mm-hmm. Obviously, with COVID and stuff like that, things were moving slow. Yeah. And also, when you register a foundation, that's one thing that people don't know. It takes time. It's a long process yeah. because you have to have lawyers involved in all of these things. So when donors are around and stuff like that. Right. So it took a while. And my certificate is literally coming out in October. Oh, so I'm yay. finally happy. And um, my foundation is about giving people a second chance. I was given a second chance. I was given an opportunity. Yeah. Um, it's about, I, I mean, like I did say, I'm an academic. Right. So I want to give young people an opportunity to go to school. And I want every year for me and my foundation to pay uh, for 10 or 12 people. Mm-hmm. And I believe in equality. I don't believe in just paying for girls or paying for guys. Yeah. So I want six boys and six girls to have an opportunity to rewrite I like you that. understand what I mean? I like that, yeah. yeah, to rewrite, and and then we would be in a position where we identify a child in each community uh, that uh, uh, you know that are very less privileged, but yeah. they want an opportunity to go to school. Beautiful. So that's that's what Beautiful. I'm working towards because I want to be in a position where I work with Melinda and Bill Gates. Yeah. I want to also work with Oprah, and I also want to work with UN because I I really want Africa to wake up to the fact that. We are not just talented, but we are education. We are smart. Mm. We're Africa. So that's what I'm working on yeah. to, to help people get a second chance to go to school. Man, I love yeah. that. It's a beautiful thing. When I heard about it the first time, I thought, look, you've earned the stripes and now you're giving it all out. Thank you. And that's I, the best way to live your life, I appreciate in, in my opinion. It. So you said you want to work with Bill Gates, Melinda, Oprah, and I have this to say. From your lips to, to God's me. ears... Yeah. And one of those good days, you're back in the studio and we're talking about how those people are working together with you. That is one of the nicest things I've ever heard from someone. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. And thank you to your team and Gabs FM for having me. Yes, sir. Um, have a wonderful weekend. God bless you. And uh, a lot of love and, yeah. you know, positivity your way. And let's leave, let's leave hate, guys. We lost too many people with COVID. <sighs> it's time to live and enjoy our lives. All right. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, no. It's been a pleasure. Let your line keep on shining and shining. Ladies, if you haven't seen Takuza, <laughs> God damn. There we go again. <laughs> What's going on, YouTube? My name is TK of the Juice 2.0. I'm just here to say thank you very much for checking our video and click subscribe, like, and the notification button for more content just like that.